Hi and welcome to the second part of my monthly feature, Create Date. Today I will be creating four different cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. So I'm starting on a black card base and uh, I have used my powder tool there just to apply some uh, powder which is going to eliminate static electricity since I'm planning to do some heat embossing. So first I'm going to stamp the sentiment and that's uh, you are my superhero and it comes from uh, the new stamp set that's called you are super. I'm also going to stamp a little sentiment on the inside of the card that says you did it and I'm actually creating this card to hand it out to my daughter just because it did exceptionally well on school this year. And since this is going to be a superhero card, I want it to be very bold and that's why I chose to go with a black card base and uh, I'm adding uh, red embossing powder just to make it look even more striking. Now I have placed this uh, stencil on top of my card base and I'm using the Nouveau Glimmer Paste. This is really striking, it's uh, full of glitter and I'm going to apply it with my spatula over the stencil. Now uh, the stencil is also by uh, my favorite things from a previous release and you will find links to everything I'm using down below in the description area just like always. And uh, I'm going to peel off uh, the stencil to see the result and I always love the result of uh, Glimmer Paste. It's really striking and it comes in so many different colors. Surprisingly, it's going to dry quite uh, quickly in less than 10 minutes and uh, I will go ahead and uh, do the stamping and uh, once my little girl is ready to go, the glimmer paste is going to be dry. Now, I, I find that glimmer paste is a great way to add uh, tons of glitter on top of your card without that glitter getting everywhere. I have stamped my little girl and I'm using my alcohol markers to color her and just because I am uh, sharing four different cards in this video I'm going to skip to the stage where I have finished coloring her and I'm going to use the matching dye to cut her out. I went for a very traditional color on uh, a superhero color with blues and um, reds just like Superman and I'm going to stick her on top of my card. I'm going to add some uh, foam squares at the back to add a little bit of dimension on her. And it's a very simple looking card but at the same time so striking with her at the center and all the rays around her full of glitter. Now I am uh, also going to personalize it a little bit and that's a great idea. So my daughter's name is Maria and that's why I'm going to stamp the letter M on her top. Now for doing so, just because I didn't have uh, the correct font on uh, uh, simple alphabets, I used a sentiment that said Merry Christmas, I masked off the rest of the sentiment and I kept only the first M. Now there are different options to stamp uh, different little things on uh, her top, such as um, this little thunder, as well as the star. But you can be as creative as you like. For my second card I'm going to use this die again from the latest release that's called My Town and uh, I'm going to cut it out from gold mirror paper. And this die doesn't cut out the bottom of uh, the buildings so it can create uh, beautiful borders and you can control the length of them. Now I'm going for a very clean and simple looking card and I'm using the stars die to cut out uh, the word stars as well as uh, tiny little stars. I, again, I'm using the exact same uh, mirror cardstock that I used for cutting out the buildings. And now it is time to assemble my card. Again, this is a very quick and easy card, but really beautiful. I am adding some tape adhesive at the back of my buildings. I'm going to place it at the bottom of my card base, and that's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. On top I glued uh, the die cut that reads stars and now with my white glue I'm adding some dots at uh, the sky and this is where I'm going to stick the little stars that I have die cut. I just love the combination of white and gold together. I feel like uh, they always give a lovely elegant card. Now to finish off the card I'm going to complete the sentiment by stamping reach for the on a piece of white uh, cardstock and just stick it on top of the word stars. 
and the sentiment comes from the written in the stars stamp set. Now it's really difficult to photograph a mirrored card just because it re- reflects everything, including my camera and everything in the surroundings. So now let's move on to the next card. And I'm going for a hexagon shaker window, so I'm using the matching dies to cut out a, a, an hexagon window there. I am also using some uh, white glue at the back of my cardstock. And uh, then I'm going to use one of those hexagon pouches that have come out with this release. And these have a nice um, dimension, so they will hold a uh, sequence and beads and everything you like to add inside or just simple confetti. Now, I have also used the same die to cut out of uh, yellow cardstock lots and lots of those hexagons. And I'm going to place them here just to decide where everything is going to go. And then I will go ahead and use my glue and stick everything down. Now, you don't really need to cut out uh, too many hexagons. I'm going to use the excess, chop off the excess and use them in different areas making sure that I cover up completely the front of my card. For this card I'm going to use the meant to be stamp set and uh, I stamped on my card base the sentiment from that stamp set that says uh, just because and I had to cut uh, my sentiment in half. If you don't want to do that you can always just mask off part of it and stamp in different lines. Now on top of my sentiment I'm going to add some sequins that I had in my stash and then I'm going to place on top my panel. And the idea is to shake all those little bits and pieces in order to read the sentiment. Now I'm going to embellish it a little bit more by stamping a couple of bees from the same stamp set. I'm going to stamp them with a black ink and then color them with my alcohol markers. There are matching dies available for this stamp set, so I use those to cut out the bees. And I'm going to stick them on top of my card using some uh, tiny little foam squares at the back. So this is going to level up the bees with the level of uh, the window. Now, in the same stamp set, there are some uh, trails that you can stamp, so I am going to do that just to add some more interest on my card for both my bees. And this is going to complete the card. And you can pair this design with pretty much any sentiment from the stamp set, so it can be a birthday card, a friendship card, many different options there. For the last card I'm using the Berry Town stamp set and it comes with lots of uh, little bears as well as houses and trees and you can pretty much create a little town. Now in uh, this case I'm going to do something completely different. Just because this little guy has his uh, hand raised I thought it would be fun to give him balloons to hold. So I have cut out some clouds and I used the meant to be dies. And I have also cut out these balloons that come from another uh, release that's uh, called uh, Happy Hippos. And the idea here is to have this bear flying while holding the balloons. So I'm going to create a sky here. I'm just applying some uh, Distress Ink with my blending tool and that's tumbled glass. And I'm going to add some foam squares at the back of my bear and give him the balloons to hold as if he is flying far up at the sky. Now a lovely idea is to stick some uh, buildings, only the roofs or uh, the border like I used here, at the bottom of your panel and this is going to give the illusion that uh, your guy is flying uh, even uh, higher. I'm also going to, st to stick down some of those clouds. I have cut out three of them but I am actually going to use only two. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to stick that on top of a card base. To finish off my card I'm going to stamp the sentiment and this is going to be a birthday card. So my sentiment reads wishing you the very best birthday. Now you can finish off the card if you like by adding some uh, Wing of Stella on the balloons or you can uh, even add some uh, glossy accents to make them shiny. I decided to leave it as it is. And let's take a quick look on all the four cards that I have created for today using products from the latest release by my favorite things. I hope I have inspired you and you got uh, a few ideas on how you can use these products. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.